G'day, g'day, it's Thomas here from Paradise, Christchurch, New Zealand, although the weather is pretty manky today. Um, I've got a rather special engine here that's been beautifully made, beautifully rebuilt really, by Matt over at Steam 212 Degrees. So we're going to get this going, I think I've only had it slowly going once. I find that these run really badly on denatured alcohol, in fact, possibly not at all. So I always use gas for them. So this is a, a model of the PM Research uh, copy of English hot air engine from ages ago. And you're going to hear just how loud and rattly this is. We're going to run a Chinese engine. This is the Chinese one with a very small modification put a bearing in there this is the outstanding japanese one you can't get these anymore this is the silent engine so beautifully made this is the german one yep so you've probably seen plenty of these bomb germany's most uh popular the hb14 heißluft machine really pretty um almost engines as art kind of a thing and attractive in a completely different way is this from Contax in England. This is a beautiful little commercial uh, rhombic drive. Let's get this going. We're going to try getting mats going on gas. And like I say, I'm not sure that I've ever had this going because I'd lost my little gas lighter. So I've found with these engines that once they get up to a certain temperature, i.e. exceptionally hot, they can really take off. I'll show you that later um, with my one. I'm not sure how fast Matt's is going to go because I don't know what he's used to lubricate it, if anything. Yeah, it's coming up to heat now. So, there's something that Matt does with his engines that just make them look so solid, you know? I think it's this beautiful metal base. There you go, that's getting up speed nicely there. So it's a little bit noisy, but not crazy noisy. We're getting some mechanical noise, but not a lot of impact noise or looseness noise. Will you wait till I run my one? Really, this was badly, badly made. So around 1991, I don't know what PM research were thinking, but the screws in this just fell apart as I as I tried to tighten them. I made a new base out of a um, the base plate of a door handle um, because the uh, the little brass parts of the uh, fence that goes around this they just sort of fell apart. Um, and this engine is noisy like you wouldn't believe. You can already hear the difference between Matt's and mine, can't you? Crazy, isn't it? Okay, moving right along. Going to run this little gas-powered one here. Right, so this is Chinese, quite cheap. Um, I believe you put in the safety, turn on the gas, and then light it. Here it goes. Okay, we're going to run this uh, without the generator to begin with without that switched on so really quite nicely made the linkage here is called Ross yoke and the benefit of the Ross yoke linkage if you think about the pistons and the displacer piston in here almost the, the conrod is almost straight it's not going around you know what I mean so these pistons are not getting um, forces at an angle likewise you could get oh that's running really hot Likewise, you you could get a um, you know good good wear characteristics from an engine like this. So that's off and racing now. Super super easy to use. I haven't filled this up with gas for months and months. Um, it's 
got a little, uh, it's driving the generator and the fan over here. We're just going to turn that uh, generator on. So if you, uh, if you have one of these, they actually have glass pistons. I thought they were graphite. But you use graphite dust on those if you want to, um, if you want to uh, lubricate those pistons. They generally don't need it. A bit of graphite dust can get you 10% more speed. Um, I'm really impressed with this engine. Uh, it's branded Engomore. You can get it at Engine DIY, SterlingKit.com, and other retail. It's just a very comprehensive quality unit um, with a number of tiny ball bearings. What do you think of that, guys? I think that's really impressive. Just behind there, you can see a little ball bearing. That wasn't there. There was a kind of a wide hole there. And they used to rattle like an absolute bastard. Okay. Beautiful. Put some myths into this beautiful bomb engine over here. These are a really mass-produced engine. Like a BMW, they are mass-produced. They're um, going to work well. Um, you're not going to have any problems with your your bomb engine they do need a little bit of care i think at the same time we're going to light our little english um engine it's a sterling engine with a rhombic linkage quite a rare linkage this is another linkage which uh, like the ross yoke allows the pistons to have a very shallow angle to the conrod in fact the angle on this is is zero and it also so yeah, so it keeps that angle parallel and it also follows the theoretical um, expansion cycles really well. Okay, Bomb likes a drop of WD-40. Doesn't have to have it, but likes it. I've got quite small flames on that because just goes nuts otherwise that is really pretty I mean uh, it's just sort of dances doesn't it let's get this uh, little English one going England versus Germany it's like World War two isn't it well and yet not really exactly like World War two I'll give you that okay there we go so Germany versus Great Britain. Well, England. And we're just going to stop this to hear the English one. Very quiet. Of course, it's not running very fast yet. It's away, and the bomb's still working really well over there behind it. So they're small, these um, Contax engines, small but well made. So this is an uh, engine from maybe 10 years ago, beautifully made engine. I have another video of this um, engine. It is practically silent, uh, very, very beautifully made in Japan by an expert in the craft of casting. Casting. So... I usually run a little bit of um, WD-40 in that, and I usually run this on gas. Comes with its own meths um, burner, if you want to use that. And I think I've overfilled my um, gas torch. There's a really good reason you can't hear it. Because it's practically silent, as I said.
and just going nuts at the moment. The speed is really fast. Um, so that's the Japanese engine, beautifully made. Finally, we're going to run an engine that is not a Stirling cycle engine. These are all Stirling cycle engines, different methods. The Stirling cycle is a closed system. The air is shuttled back and forth and is heated and cooled, heated and cooled, and is not open to the outside uh, air. This tiny engine is open to the outside air. It's a Manson engine, and part of its stroke involves equalizing through a valve in the cylinder. Manson guy's engine with tungsten. It's using a tungsten coating, tungsten disulfide or something like that. Um, this is a quite a fast engine. I don't know what kind of power it makes, but it's much faster than its little brethren behind us here. Much quicker than that. Uh, uses no doesn't you know needs no uh, lubrication at all um, let's get that going so another weird thing about this engine it will quite happily go in either direction so three moving parts displacer piston assembly conrod flywheel three moving parts on this and it works equally well either way doesn't care which way it runs So far, this engine is silent. Well, not such a challenge when you've only got three moving parts. But once it speeds up, you'll hear it humming. So it's possibly not the most uh, interesting engine to watch. But it is interesting to try and figure out that um, cycle, the uh, Manson cycle. And if you hush down everything else in the room, you can hear this valve chuffing away in this engine. But it's very... Uh, quiet thing to hear. I really enjoy running the engines and sharing them with you people. Um, please do consider liking. It's actually quite important to press the like button on videos so that YouTube knows to show them. Press the subscribe button. Uh, also really helps me get the videos out there. It doesn't mean to say you're going to necessarily get notified unless you press the notify button as well. There's all the brass and steel ones running uh, together, the bomb engine and the two contacts motors. I've enjoyed showing you my collection of hot air engines today. Uh, there are other ones. There are my flame liquor or vacuum motors. Um, check out my other videos for some videos of those. I uh, really enjoy those. They have a really interesting sound. But today we've had a look at um, Sterling cycle engines from around the world. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you press the like on the videos, YouTube is going to know that it showed you what you were hoping or expecting to see. So important that you do that. Important that you press subscribe and the bell if you want to get notified when I put out a new video. Catch me again.